guys. So I had a problem with my uh, free code camp data visualization project. Um, specifically the bar chart. As you can see, I even went on the forum and asked a question. Uh, unfortunately, nobody replied. So I tried to not only reproduce the problem for you guys, but try to figure out why. Um, but before we get to the problem I asked on the forum, I also want to show you guys one of the issues that I was facing with, the, uh, with my scale linear a method. I was getting this error and if I run it right now, the test isn't going to pass. Um, so the test or the, um, the user story that's not going to pass is number 11, the data GDP attribute and its corresponding bar element should align with the corresponding, the corresponding value on the y-axis. And the reason it's not passing is because I provided this as my um, first in, my first index in the array, which is d3 min value. And that's uh, that's incorrect, and the reason for that being, um, if I if we get the minimal value, if it if our y axis uses the um, value, the minimum value in our array which right now is value, and we can console.log to find out what number that is. Um, let's clear it, clear our console, and then refresh the page. Okay, so our minimum value is 243 in my value array. And basically, if I if I provided, I did provide that as my minimum value, and it essentially set my scale starting from 243, which is incorrect. It should be zero. So all of my um, bars on that are sitting on top of the my x scale or the x axis, it's not going to reference the correct the correct um, scale on in my y-axis because 243 is down here so if I have a bar that essentially is supposed to represent 243 in height that's going to be incorrect because the y is going to start from 243 and a larger number would be you know higher than higher on the y-axis so to fix that what I essentially did was erase this value and made sure our y-axis, our scale linear method, started at zero. And you can see here it starts at zero. So now these bars that are sitting on my x-axis are going to be accurately represented. Um, so essentially it's going to start at zero and 243 is somewhere here. And the higher the bar graph goes, um, obviously the higher these numbers are going to grow and they're going to be accurately represented. So the next, uh, the next and most frustrating part for me to pass all the tests on this, on this project or to pass all the user stories was our mouse over event on our tooltip. As you can see, I do have it working. It displays the date along with the year and the month. And so one of the essential bugs that I had to fix is at first I had my code like this, right? And it shows it's displaying everything as it did before. But if I clicked on run test, Essentially, it'll get stuck on test 13 out of 14, and sometimes if you keep running the test, it'll actually pass, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. So I was trying to figure out why that was happening. I mean, essentially, we have everything displaying as it should and as it does in our example given by Free Code Camp. So how I ended up solving this problem is if I look and inspect the last bar in our chart, 
that's going to give us get us close to the tooltip div that we created and as you can see the date is 2015 701 so it's the format that the date is in is the reason why our tests aren't passing and like i said sometimes it will pass because it will come along it will uh, parse a date that is actually in the correct format however if there's a leading zero in the date it'll remove that zero in our month and essentially not pass the test so if we drag over some of the bars in our graph you can see it's 2014 701 it's essentially removing the leading zero in our date okay so the way to fix that i actually ended up reporting a bug to free code camp and they told me that it's not necessarily a bug it's it's basically happening because of this div transition property here um, because of this transition property the data date attribute is actually being affected by this transition property here so from what i understand the that data is being corrupted and it's being modified to not to display an incorrect date and you can also see that we get these weird um, these long digit numbers when we drag over the mouse when we drag the mouse over the bars so to fix that i removed the div from the dot uh, html method we're going to close our console and added the div to our data date attribute here and now if we inspect it in our console or in uh, our elements tab go down to the tooltip it's down here you can see the data date attribute is displaying correctly or the format is correct and if we keep dragging down the bars drag over the bars you can see we also don't get those really long numbers that that uh, the transition property was giving us. Now it's giving us nothing but the date and the format of the date is correct. So doing that, if we run the test now, it passes every single time. So to see the full page view without the code on top, it needs a little bit of CSS for some appeal, but the functioning, it functions very well. And that's it.